Well, welcome back to the Conscious Business Show, where we connect the heart, the mind, to the wallet. We are here live at the Sustainable Business Network Conference in Boston at Northeastern, and my great co-host, Will Krause. Thank great you to be so here much. With you, Darby. Oh, wonderful to have you. Sustainability, environmental, social governance um, is your is your love as a CFA as well. So we're really happy that you're here with us. This afternoon, um, we are graced with Myrna Greenfield. She is founder and shall I say top egg of Good Egg Marketing. And we're really glad that you're here with us today. So thank you. You're welcome. I'm pleased to be here. You have been a top egg in your in your organization, Good Egg Marketing, um, for quite a while, focusing on food, beverage, uh, marketing, healthcare, high tech industries, and you've done so much for your community. Uh, we really want to understand how you got to this point in your life, and and we'll get to the point too about how you you named your firm. But but first, we want to understand the journey and your personal journey to here and starting up Good Egg Marketing. So we'd love to hear that story. Thank you, Darby. I've I've gone back and forth between the for-profit and the nonprofit sector throughout my life. Uh, right after college, I worked for. Uh, a worker-owned newspaper in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Mm. So I've always had an interest in business. And unfortunately, the first four cooperatives that I were, was involved in all went out of business oh, goodness. Uh, within a few years. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think it was not directly connected to my association <laughs> with them. Mm -hmm. But I'm proud to say I was the employee number one at Equal Exchange uh, the coffee company that's based here in Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and that, of course, has gone on to be an incredibly successful uh, worker-owned business. Right. And so right. I've, I've been able to see both the, the shortcomings and the opportunities mm -hmm. in different types of business structures, and I've always been a believer that business could be a really strong force for social good. Right, right. And uh, so I started Good Egg Marketing in, in 2010, because after spending my whole life focusing on marketing in different types of settings, I, I've also been concurrently uh, a foodie, and <laughs> I decided that I wanted to combine my two great loves, marketing and food, mm. and really focus on helping local food and food-related businesses succeed.